Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be sewing our six pieces skirt with full lining and it's so detailed. So I have my pieces, I've cut out the lining. Okay, two I've cut out the lining for each of the pieces that we have already cut out. So this is two pieces for the side front. I already have two pieces for the center front. Okay, so I'll go take out the lining. Keep them aside and show us how to join the fabric. Okay, so this is my lining for the front piece. Then I'll open up and show you how to join. So um, this is the center, the two center front. Okay, you can see the two of them. Okay, so remember we have half inch seam allowance. Okay, in front. Please, if you haven't seen the cotton tutorial, please go and watch the cotton tutorial before you watch this one. So, you know, I made a notch to, to identify where the center front is. So, I'm going to place it right side facing right side and join with half inch seam allowance. Please, you need to watch the cotton tutorial before you watch this, okay, so that you don't miss out on anything. So, when I pull, pull, it, pull it back together, it becomes one piece after sewing. Then, afterwards, you go and sew the side front, okay to the sides to each side of the center front okay you know we have four pieces in front two pieces for the center front and two pieces for the side front so you also go and join the other piece to the other side of the center front okay so i'll just go and join it on my machine and come back and show you what we have so i've joined the center front you can see the joining there I've joined the two pieces in front. Okay, so it has become one piece. We now have two pieces, right? So it's remaining the remaining two pieces. So I'll then go and join the side front to each side of the center front, to each side of the one I've already joined. That way it's a lot easier to explain it. So I'll also go and join with half inch. My same allowance is half inch. So I'll go join the sides together and I'm done doing that. So we have our front pattern ready, okay? So you can see the front of your eight pieces skirt. Now you go and join the lining exactly the same way, okay? Then this is the back. Remember the back also has four pieces, two pieces for the center back and two pieces for the side back. The lining as well. So I've kept the lining aside. This is the side back, okay? So I'll just keep the lining aside and show us how to join the main fabric so we open it up these are these are the two center backs okay so what i'll do i wouldn't join the center backs together like i did for the front what i'll do would be to go and join the side back to each piece of the center back okay so to each piece i'll place it right side facing right side and stitch it with half inch seam allowance keep it aside then get to the other piece place it like so right size facing right size and go and join with half inch seam allowance right so the reason we are not joining it together at the middle panel is because we have our zip allowance at that area so we don't join it for now so this is my lining for the center front you can see i'm done joining the lining and i've also gone to weave the inside so that it's really neat inside the same thing for the fabric i've, I've weaved the inside so would have a very clean finishing okay and as much as it's going to be hidden so i'm going to fold it back together this is now the center front okay this is the the front panel now so i fold it into two like this make sure that all the sides are matching okay so i also fold the lining into two and place it on top of the main fabric as well then you're make, going to make sure that everything is properly folded and everything is properly aligned so that you don't have any um, excess you want to make sure that you place it carefully all right i'm taking my time to do this because we're going to make a cut at the lower part so you need to be sure that everything is properly aligned and matching so that you don't cut in error so when i'm done placing them together i want to curve the hem of my uh, skirt okay remember it is straight i didn't do i didn't do anything to the hem so it's just straight like this so i want to make sure that it has a curved hem so that it's not going to be spiking out or poking out by the sides all right so from the side like so from the open edge i'll come up by two inches okay then i'm going to curve it down to where i have the joining for the center front okay so i just use my ruler to connect like so so if you're finding it difficult to use a ruler you can actually use your free hand to make the connection like so 
right so this is just to curve the hem make the hem um curvy so that it's not going to be sharp and straight at the edge so just get your scissors and you know trim that off remember we went up by two inches you can do one and a half but two inches is actually really fine so you cut it out like so okay so now we have a curved hem and it's no longer straight and sharp right so this is just to um, beautify and give your hpc skirt a good shape at the hem so after that you take away the main fabric and work on the lining now remember we are using the lining to turn the skirt so the lining has to be shorter than the main fabric all right so because of that i'm going to be reducing the lining by one inch so i place the lining to fold it back together is like so then i'll go and mark one inch down all the way around like so because like i said the lining has to be shorter than the fabric so that when you use the lining to turn the fabric your lining will not be poking out from underneath the dress that's a very tacky job so you need to cut out one or 1.5 inches from the lining okay to make it shorter than the fabric so i'm choosing to do one inch so i'm cutting off one inch from my lining like so so you go and keep it aside then you now join the lining and the fabric together so i'm going to show us how to uh, attach use the lining to turn the the main fabric okay to get a neat finishing so i'm going to place it right side facing right side the right side of the lining will face the right side of the fabric and you're going to make sure that you place adjust the hem properly so that it lays the lining lays properly on the main fabric like so you can see how clean that is so you go and sew with half inch half inch seam allowance all the way around then after sewing that you're going to pull your lining up then come to the waistline and sew with half inch as well make sure you pull your lining up and sew with half inch all right so i'll go and do that then for the back panel i've also sewn the, the pieces together i've also weaved or overlocked or sedged the inside so this is one side of the back and the other side of the back right so i also place it together okay place the main fabric together i also place the lining on it just to do what exactly i did in the front you know to trim out uh, two inches by the side to give it a curved hem so i've done that i'll go and cut it out just like i did for the front i also place the lining together mark one inch round then go and cut it out exactly what i had done to the front okay so you place the lining two pieces of the lining for the back you know the back is two pieces now because i've not joined it to make one piece so after cutting that this is what we have so we've shaped the hem of our lining that way it's not going to be pokey now it's not going to be straight so what i'll do is to place it right side fitting right side for each of the sides okay then i'll go and do what i did to the front to so go and hem it with half inch downwards pull up my lining to the waistline and also sew it with half inch at the waistline so i'm done doing that and this is what we have so i'm trimming off my excess threads so when i turn it inside now what you would do is to go after sewing the upper part and the lower part you can see that the lining has pulled the lower the lower part as has pulled the main fabric upwards okay so that way your lining won't be poking out outside so you're going to fold in like so okay and stitch with half inch all the way around okay so when i when you're done, done sewing this your lining is going to pull your main fabric upwards so you're going to fold it at that area okay for that part that it came up with okay you can see that's overlapped so you're going to stitch it down with half inch now to one side i'm going to leave an opening up for about three to four inches okay so that you can pull out your board your skirt pieces from your skirt piece from there so i'm not stitching the sides okay you remember we're doing full lining okay and we're doing clean finishing okay so you're just going to I've, i'm done running the stitch so i'm go just going to pull out the skirt from that opening that i made remember i said you should make an opening of three to four inches okay so i go and pull out my 
scared from there okay and make sure that everything is properly tucked out you can go and iron it so that everywhere will just lay really flat and you can use your needle to poke out the ends that are you know inside so when i pull it out this is what i have then you can see the hem this is how beautiful the hem will be and your lining will be sticking out so remember the side that you left open okay the part that you tucked out your but your skirt from so you, you either use your hand needle to do an invisible stitch or just use a sewing machine and run a straight stitch at that area, okay? So this is what I have. I'll also go and do the same thing for the back. I've done for one side of the back. You can see. You can see how the hem overlaps okay i've also stitched down my opening from where i pulled out my fabric from so i'll go and do it to the other side to show exactly what i've done okay so i've stitched the hem the waist area and the sides i've also left my two or three inches or even four inches allowance to pull out my skirt from okay so exactly what i did to the front that's what i what that's what i did to the back i've pulled it out so this is the back okay so i'll just hold the two pieces together place it right side facing right side this is for the back panel okay so remember my zip allowance was one and a half inches i've used half inch to sew to turn it with lining so i'll have one inch remaining so i've gone to stitch it down with one inch for my zip allowance okay so you can see i've stitched it down so the back panel is now one piece just like the front panel is one piece you can see so i'll place it on each other right side facing right side you're going to make sure that everything properly aligns okay once you're cutting with your right measurements and you're doing everything appropriately everything will match so i'll mark my waist to hip line and waist to knee line okay so i'm going to mark it on the three sides okay on one side on the middle side and on the other side okay so my waist to hip is nine my waist to knee is 18 inches okay so i'm just going to rule it out so that we can take my body measurements or the body measurements okay so i've marked out my wa my waist to hip and waist to knee so we'll start taking the measurements right so on the waistline you're going to mark your waist divided by two okay not by four now your waist divided by two so the waist i'm working with is 42 divided by two that's 21 so i'm going to make a mark at 21 okay i've made a mark at 21 so i'm going to measure what i have left from that 21 inches to the end of my skirt okay i have three inches so you divide that three inches by two okay or you fold your tape into two so whatever you have you mark it on these two sides i have one and a half inches so i marked one and a half inch here so i have to make sure that the line is longer than the first line okay just to indicate that that's the line you should shape your dress or your skirt with right so on the hip line i'm going to mark your hip divided by two okay so the hip i'm working with is 45 divided into two is 22.5 okay so you're going to measure 22 and a half okay so if you don't have a calculator you can use your tape to measure so like i said i divide the hip by two so the hip i'm working with is 45 divided by two is 22 and a half so I'll, i've made the marker to two and a half then i'll measure what i have left i have three inches so divided by two that's 1.5 so i've marked 1.5 here i also mark 1.5 on the other side so for the knee you're going to subtract four or six inches from your hip measurement depending on how loose or tight you want it to be so the hip is 45 minus four that is 41 inches so i'm going to divide 41 by two to give me 20 and a half so i've made the mark at 20 and a half so i'm going to measure what i have left i have about five inches so you're supposed to divide that by two okay so you have two and a half on the both sides okay but because this is the knee so i need to add half inch to it for ease okay so i'm adding half inch to it okay so when i measure i need to be sure of what i have okay so this is this is it so you can actually add this half inch ease to it okay if you don't want the knee to be restricted so much okay so you just go and connect it like so then you flare it out to the length of the skirt okay so you connect from the waist to the hip to the knee and flare to the length of the skirt like i'm doing the same thing you do to the other side connect from the waist to the hip then you collect connect sorry connect from the hip to the knee 
okay then you flare it out so depending on what you want if you want to add a little bit of ease to the knee area you can just do that okay so the key is comfort make sure you're comfortable in the skirt and that is so so afterwards i'll go and join all right so i'm done joining the sides okay following the mark that i use my chalk to make okay so you just go and cut out all your ss threads and this is it you can see how beautiful it is with your full lining okay properly turned in the upper part and the sides okay so this is what it looks like it's really beautiful all right so after doing that i will then go to, this this step is optional though but i like to do it to give my dress or my skirt that beautiful look so i'll go and rip this zip allowance open okay so i like to take my final measurements at the back okay it gives when you cover it it just gives your skirt that very nice bomb illusion all right so i'll fold it together like so remember i ripped up my my back allowance okay that my zip allowance that i sewed i've opened it up so i need to retake my final measurements at the back all right so note that when you if you're not so curvy when you do this you're going to actually have the same thing all right so what i've done is to mark out my waist uh, to hip line okay i'll just mark it out properly just extend it to the other side like so so i'll start retaking my body measurements okay so that it should help me curve the back so well and to relax on the body all right so this step is practically optional you can choose to just after taking your body measurements just go and attach your zip allowance your skirt will still come out fine so on the waist i'll mark the waist divided by two okay so i've marked it there right on the hip i also mark the hip divided by two Okay, so you're just going to make sure that you're pushing it out so that no part is, is inside. So, just be pulling on your skirt to make sure that you pull out all you have there, okay? So, I'll measure my hip divided by two, right? So, on the knee line, I'm also going to mark your knee divided by two. So, I'll connect from the waist to the hip like so. So, giving it that hip curve, okay, it's just going to make your bum accentuate, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's just going to give you that sweet uh, curve and shape, okay, at the bum, right? So, if you are so, if you are very curved, you're going to enjoy this part, all right? That hip curve at the back is just going to give you a very smooth look. It's just, it's just going to cup your bum, okay? And you look like you're wearing padded bum bum. <laughs> All right, so on the knee, you're going to mark your knee divided by two. And the knee is derived by subtracting four or six inches, depending on how tight you want, of how tight or fitted or loose you want it. So for me, it's 20 and a half. I want to make it 21. So that i can move properly okay so you connect from the hip to the knee then flare it out to the length of the skirts like so okay so because this daughter of zion is not shapey mine is just looking just straight okay but it's also going to do some little wonders like you know cup my bum so that it looks like there's something there all right so from that area from from the waist you come down by seven or eight inches then stitch from that seven or eight inches downwards okay the remaining allowance at the upper part will be to join your zip okay so i'm done i also made a peplum an asymmetric or a monostrap uh, peplum top with princess double stair okay that's what i'll be wearing this skirt with and it has exaggerated sleeves so you can see what i did i've attached my zip and you can see how it curbs my non-existent bum at the back okay so this is what it looks like it's really beautiful it gives them so this is what it looks like it really came out beautiful so try yours out and this pattern like i said is really very easy so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give us a like so i know you like the tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you like a tutorial on how i made the sleeve just tell me in the comment section and i'll share the tutorial on how i made the sleeve so please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next tutorial till then keep sewing keep practicing and i love you okay and i hope you love my outfit as well so this is the back this is what it looks like yeah
All right, so I'll see you in my next one. Bye.